So uh, we talked in detail about the uh, square previously. We talked in detail about the square uh, law MOSFET and we saw an equation which was generic that could be used in triode region uh, and also in saturation region. Now we considered the velocity saturated MOSFETs. So remember that velocity saturated MOSFETs are the one in which the current does not saturate but it has uh, some dependence uh, on IDS uh, on VDS so when increasing VDS causes a small increase in ID ideally this should not happen but this is what happens in modern short channel transistors so in this lecture we are going to see uh, a model that can describe the velocity saturated uh, characteristic so it's better to call this velocity uh, saturated uh, characteristic and the model for this one for this one will be called uh, virtual source model. So we are going to study a virtual source model that applies to velocity saturated uh, characteristic curve of transistor. So let's see. So this is the curve that we saw earlier. We have uh, the uh, no note that in this one, uh, the ID is shown as uh, saturated, but uh, in the same lecture, we will see that we will uh, include uh, include uh, the case in which it is not saturated, but in fact increasing. So in a couple of slides, we will come back to that. So we saw the for that velocity saturated. Uh, characteristic we have these two equation in the linear region uh, it is this equation note that there is no uh, no square here it is power one okay and also no square here it is power one okay so uh, this is the equation in saturated region and these two uh, equations they uh, happen to uh, intersect each other at a point that is called VD set, VD saturation. And VD saturation for a uh, velocity saturated model is equal to V set, which was the saturated velocity. We saw this earlier that it is 10 raised to the power something uh, uh, centimeters per second or something okay so the electrons cannot uh, should not move faster than this velocity so this was the uh, initial uh, uh, reason why the device were called velocity saturated that all the electrons will be uh, sort of um, saturate in the speed at this limit but actually we will see that there are exceptions but let's uh, keep that to the later point so vd set is equal to v is saturated uh, into l by the mobility in the channel okay so this is the uh, if you have a voltage that is equal to this you are exactly at a saturation point below this is the linear region and above this is the saturated region now note that uh, this was the case for square law for square law device or square law characteristic okay so uh, 
uh, what that means is that uh, VD set in velocity saturated uh, model is less than VGS minus VT. So the uh, this voltage uh, is less than that. So if you have a square law device, you will have a higher uh, saturated voltage. So uh, again, this is shown uh, in another picture. So you have ID versus VDS, and the goal is that we want to uh, connect these two regions smoothly. We want a model that can connect the linear region and the saturation region smoothly. And what that model is? That model is called uh, virtual. So now this is the uh, development of virtual source model. We will not exactly derive it, but we will see uh, some of its important intermediate formulas and then we will go to the conclusion. So we know this equation very well that the current is uh, equal to uh, uh, in the previous lecture it was written like this that current is equal to the width times uh, charge in the channel okay uh, and uh, uh, times the velocity. So we have seen this formula in the square law device. The same formula is here, but the W goes uh, on the other side in the deviant factor. So <clears throat> when uh, VGS is uh, greater than threshold voltage, then the transistor is on and we have this equation which was the charge at the virtual source is equal to minus C ox times VGS minus VT. Again, we have seen this equation. <coughs> Second uh, is this one. When VGS is less than VT, the transistor is off and there is no charge in the channel. Okay. Now, uh, with respect to VDS, when the transistor is on, then we have, uh, when the transistor is on, for this case, we have, we may have VDS is less than VD set, which is, uh, let's say, uh, less than or equal. So we may be at the saturation point or uh, linear region. So it is equal to this uh, velocity is equal to mobility times uh, VDS divided by L. Okay, so uh, and when VDS is greater than V saturation, the velocity becomes constant. So if you are in the uh, this is our VD set. So if you are on this side. The velocity is increasing something like this but when you reach this point it becomes sort of constant so this uh, curve is shown by this part okay that in this region the velocity is dependent on vds divided by l into mobility and beyond the vds point it is constant uh, at uh, v situation okay, so these are the uh, uh, maximum and minimum uh, values by maximum and minimum means saturation is the maximum value and then in the linear region you start from the minimum and go to the saturation point so how to smoothly connect uh, is given by this formula this is the main function of virtual source model. 
this is the main function that connects the regions smoothly so some researchers have derived this formula and this formula is vds by vd set divided by 1 plus vds by vd set raised to the power beta so what is beta beta is an empirical constant that these researchers derived with a lot of experimentation and beta ranges from 1.4 to 1.8 okay so uh, there is no physical uh, reason but from a lot of experiments they have uh, calculated this value for the practical transistors and it works so let's see how this formula uh, can be used in different regions so when we have uh, vds less than vd set very very less than vd set this is the linear region okay then in that case the uh, what happens is that this quantity becomes very small when we have vds that is very very less than vd set this quantity becomes very very small you can assume it zero so the denominator goes away and what remains is this one vd set uh, vd by vd set now if we put this uh, in here okay so we will get this one which is vd set uh, vd by vd set into saturation velocity and if we uh, put the value of saturation velocity from the previous slide okay we will get this equation now this equation is exactly the equation that describes the linear region you remember that this point was vd set and until this point we have the mobility times vds by l so this whole region is described by this formula and when we have vds very very greater than vd set then uh, what happens is that uh, the denominator uh, dominates and you can neglect a uh, one in comparison to uh, so i can write something like this so i can write something like this uh, that when this is the case what happens is that uh, vd set by vd by vd set is very very greater than one okay and in the denominator this uh, dominates and one can be neglected and then uh, if you uh, do the math you will get that vd set uh, uh, if set is approaching to one and when if set approaches to one according to the uh, first formula this one vds uh, the sorry the velocity which is a function of uh, vds reaches the situation point so you see this one formula formula number one explain both the linear and the situation region okay now we come to the uh, point of finite resistance so we saw that uh, there is a slope here 
which means that increasing VDS increases uh, the current a little bit. Okay, so again we start with the formula for the current. This is the one that we know. We know that the charge is this one, and in order to uh, understand where resistance comes from, we have to understand this formula. Now, in this formula, the rho is basically dibble. And what dibbles dibble mean? Dibble means that uh, dibble means that an increase in VD, which is the drain voltage, okay, reduces the threshold voltage Vt. So we have seen that earlier that for example this was our conduction band and this was our uh, energy band diagram. Now uh, maybe let me use a different color. So maybe the original uh, one was like this okay but a higher vd okay this is vd2 a higher vd and this is vd1 so vd2 is greater than vd1 and it uh, brought down the uh, fermi level on the drain side and it also brought down the potential hill so it make made it easier for electron to jump from the source to the drain side so as it has become easier for electron to uh, jump from uh, the source to the uh, drain side so the resistance has reduced okay so uh, you can understand that dibble is a mechanism of uh, that you can interpret as a resistance okay so it basically lowers the threshold voltage and it makes the easier for electrons to flow from one side to the other side so this is where the uh, uh, linearly uh, sort of increasing curves come from so we have accommodated this in the virtual source model then now uh, we know this is the equation for the linear region okay and uh, uh, this whole thing this whole thing can be considered as 1 by r okay so v is equal to i r or i is equal to v by r so this is uh, what is called channel uh, length and it is the uh, slope of this uh, black line okay so this is called the channel length or uh, on resistance now you see when whenever you use the transistor so there are contacts for example for vdd and for uh, gate and for other things so there is some resistance between the drain and uh, the uh, vdd and between the source and the vs or ground these are called uh, parasitic uh, resistance so uh, let's see that how the uh, uh, these parasitic capacitance, uh, sorry, parasitic resistances can be included in our uh, model. So uh, we have this uh, VG uh, prime, okay, which uh, denote.
the intrinsic uh, gate voltage so all the primes are intrinsic gate voltages uh, for example vg prime means intrinsic gate voltage vd prime means intrinsic drain voltage vs prime means intrinsic uh, uh, source voltage so vs prime is here is the voltage here vd prime uh, is the voltage here okay so in case of a gate it's simple it uh, it is there is no resistance uh, we have uh, seen in the previous slide that the resistance uh, with the ground is only important in RF application not in digital application so that's why we have neglected that in the case of drain the VD prime is equal to VD minus IR drop across the RD so ID is a function of VG prime VS prime and VD prime into RD and Vs prime is the voltage here so the it is equal to the voltage at this point plus the drop is in this direction so we have to add so it is equal to a Vs plus Id into Rs so in this way we can accommodate the effect of these two series uh, resistance and if we plot it so if the black one is the uh, curve for intrinsic model of mosfet then the curve with series resistance drops in all the regions by some factor and it is below that voltage so we see that we can include the effect of uh, these parasitic resistances so this is uh, our uh, virtual source model now you see here is it is written level 0 so level 0 because this is the first version of uh, virtual source model um, and there are different phenomena that occur in uh, very latest technology transistors that may not be included in this simple model so there are versions of this model that are more uh, suitable for latest generation of transistors but this but this is the first one which is uh, which can describe uh, the uh, velocity saturated uh, transistors in uh, some detail okay so the whole model is consisted of five equation we have the equation for current okay we have the equation for charge which is uh, minus c ox time vgs prime minus vt and when we have this equation this is the equation uh, from uh, Dibble. then we have this equation which has the uh, saturation function and then we have the formula for saturation function and then we have the saturation uh, voltage as a function of where saturated velocity channel length and mobility so there are some uh, these are the equations that describe the virtual source model so uh, but there are as i told there are things that uh, cannot be described by this simple model uh, we will uh, maybe we will come back to this uh, uh, or not uh, we will see how much time we have so let me skip this one but this is this is for example one exception that uh, the velocity situated model assumes that the velocity should be maximum this one okay but in reality the velocity is something like this in modern transistors okay in modern transistors, it is something like this so you see the velocity goes uh, way up about 10 point uh, uh, 10 raised to the power 7 centimeter per second and why is that uh, the reason is uh, that the scattering 
So scattering is a phenomena in which the electrons collide with the surface of oxide and with the atoms and it moves sometimes, it is reflected sometimes, it is uh, deflected, okay. So that scattering does not happen, okay. Ideally, it should happen and this is that, this, it is the scattering that saturates. So the reason for velocity saturation is scattering. But in uh, very lattice transistors, the velocity does not saturate, but it overshoots. Okay, so this is something that the virtual source model cannot accommodate. This is one exception that is uh, not explained by uh, the velocity saturated model. So as we know that transistors are getting smaller and smaller, there are uh, uh, weird kind of phenomena and weird kind of physics that uh, is coming into play. Okay, so this is one of them. And uh, what has happened in order to explain that problem in this previous slide, there are two kinds of uh, transports in uh, the modern transistors. So this, this we call transport. One is uh, diffusio, diffusio transport and the other is ballistic transport. Diffusio, diffusio transport is the normal one. For example, you have this electron, it goes and then there is some uh, hindrance and maybe it comes back. So this is scattering reflection or something. But the uh, ballistic one is something like this, that the electron just shoots across the channel from source to destination. The electron sees this whole uh, region as vacuum. So that's why it's called ballistic transport. There is no resistance to flow of electron. Okay. So in the ballistic transport, there is no resistance to the flow of electron. And that's why it's called ballistic transport. Okay. So uh, let's uh, stop our discussion here. And this is uh, to summarize, this was the lecture about uh, the virtual source uh, model which explains the velocity saturated IV characteristics and we have seen how we can smoothly connect the linear and saturated region. We have also seen how the resistance uh, in the saturated region can be included through double effect. We have seen how parasitic resistances can be included. We have seen the problem of velocity overshoot and uh, the concept, uh, let's say, very, very initial intro of the concept of uh, ballistic transport. Okay. So ballistic transport is a wide topic, but we are just naming and uh, sort of giving you an initial uh, definition. So let's stop here.